Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do an astrogalomancy style general, okay? Um, for whatever signs come out here in the dice, okay? This will be for you, sun, moon, rising, okay? And then we'll use the bananagrams, the just alphabet tiles, like scrabble tiles. Um, black moon astrology, tea leaf, working light oracle, light purpose oracle, moonology, animal spirit guide, um, and Kipper and Tarot to clarify the situation at hand, okay? So that you know this is your reading, all right? What energy you're dealing with at this time, person, place, situation, thing, okay? And then we'll pull some guidance at the end from two oracles and get you an affirmation at the end, okay? All right, spirit with guidance, do you have the general collective at this time for whom it will resonate for? Whenever the time is divine, please and thank you. All right, we have Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. We have Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. We have, that is Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. And Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, let's figure out what's going on. Spirit, six tiles for the collective at this time. This could be names, words acronyms, initials, <laughs> and if you see any I don't happen to pick up on you, please comment down below. I'm sure it'll help somebody. It's kind of fun too. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. You have the letter O. You have the letter R. Ooh, could be an either or situation. Or is there. We have the letter H. We have the letter W. We have the letter Y. <laughs> which I can't even hold right now. There you go. <laughs> and we have the letter U. So I'm immediately seeing hour, like the, it's six hours and hours as in you, me, we. <laughs> All right. Let's see if there's anything else I'm seeing here. Not currently. Okay. So if you see anything else, go ahead and comment down below. All right, let's get four cards from the Black Moon Astrology. Please and thank you, Spirit. Who, what, when, where, why with the situation. Please and thank you. Two more, please. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly. Two came out. I love it. All right, so your cards are... First one out, we have number 23, breaks down to a five, Aquarius, I know. Mercury, mind number three, so it could be Mercury in Aquarius placement as an identifier in Aquarius. Sun, could be their sun sign, number one, spirit, okay. Could also just be about communication with an Aquarius sun sign as well. You have 47, which breaks down to an 11. That's a manifestation number. Manifestations coming in. Grand Cross Provoker. All right. All right, Spirit, let's get a couple from the tea leaf. What's going on here? about thinking? Is this about talking? Is this about communication? Is this gossip with that provoker card there? What's going on? All right, thank you. Let's get two more from Tea Leaf. Here we go. 
First card out, we have shield. You will need to defend yourself. Mm, okay. Something about the month of March. That could be Aries, Pisces energy. Could also just indicate something that's been going on since March. I'm trying to get it to focus for you. <laughs> or it could be happening upcoming March. Okay, there we go. And you do see those droopy purple flowers, right? So maybe somebody's not using their intuition. Purple is the color of your crown and your third eye chakra. Indigo and violet, respectively. <laughs> Kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. Kangaroo could also be an animal sign or synchronicity at this time or a personal identifier. You have claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. So whatever it is, use your mind as well as your heart because your spirit's there as well. Okay. Now let's get one from the Work Your Life Oracle Spirit. And hopefully it'll show up on screen okay. I am recording at night so the light's a little different and this is a holographic deck. Although it is pretty. <laughs> one piece, thank you. You have... Pleiades, double mission, channeling, and uplifting humanity. So this could actually be some practice, this circumstance, okay? For whatever your your soul purpose, your life purpose may be, okay? That's, I'm definitely seeing that. This is for the greater good, whatever the situation coming in. And it could very well be practice of something. Some kind of, um, I'm seeing a light worker type of situation here. And what's coming to mind immediately is maybe something like energy clearing, healing, blueprint. I'm seeing those types, okay? Especially if it's regarding some sort of communication with a situation in person regarding a social circumstance that's not voting too well or being difficult, okay? Your life purpose oracle card is body work. I always see the tattoo in this, and that could be an identifier for you. You also have the color blue here and green, so those might be important colors, okay? Your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing. There you go. Energy clearing is part of that and the healing as well physical therapy and exercise training. That could also be a personal identifier. Perhaps this individual is someone you would recognize that goes to the gym a lot or does some sort of kind of physical exercise body work, right? Maybe they're a massage therapist or love getting massages, you know, something along those lines. Let's pull one from Lunology Spirit. It could also be the timing as well as an identifier. And perhaps some guidance a little bit or a heads up on what's up. Please and thank you. All right, you have new moon in Taurus. And I do believe the new moons are always in their respective signs, whatever season that is. So what is that? That would be May, May, June. Okay, so this could have happened last May, June, or is going to be coming up. Maybe it'll resolve itself by then. Prosperity lies ahead. Okay. And you have green there. A lot of it. For your heart chakra. Okay. That may be an indication to tap into your heart space. For this situation first and foremost. And then use the service. And that would definitely connect you with Pleiades there. You could also be a Pleiades for a seed or dealing one, or dealing with one, too. All right, let's get one from the animal spirit that's Pleiades spirit. Thank you. There we go. This could be a animal sign identifier, personal identifier. You have tortoise. You're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. Maybe this is something you might need to prepare for energetically, okay? Getting grounded is important. You could also be dealing with this provoker who is just ungrounded as well, okay? So bear 
bear that in mind as you're dealing with that situation. Let's get four cards from Skipper. Describe what's happening here. Please and thank you. Okay. We also have some guidance here. I can see that immediately. First card out is 19. Breaks down to a 10. Tens are endings. A funeral. So this is definitely something to disconnect from. Perhaps because it might be too risky. Okay? With this provoker. <laughs> Alright, let's get three more, please. Alright. It may not be worth the risk, right? The reward for it might not be worth the risk. That's what I'm also hearing as well. All right. Last round before I pull from the top spirit. Three more, please. A funeral could also just be a literal death, too. But I don't usually look at that unless I see, like, the health card or something. Point from the top. Okay. Here we go. Alrighty. Okay. First card out, number 19. 10. Pens are endings. A funeral. Something ending, okay? And what it would be would be number 16 breaks down to a seven thoughts. So whatever thoughts were are ending, okay? With that person, we'll go ahead and identify that. 28 is also a 10. Tens or endings. This is the three months patience card. So either this is something that's been going on for three months, okay? Um, or you might have to wait three months for this situation to really fully resolve itself, okay? This is also a temperance card, um, a card of waiting and being patient, okay? And there's a reason for that. Number seven. This is an indication of one week. So whenever his thoughts end, <laughs> Within a week, there'll be a pleasant letter, okay? That'll come on in. All right, let's clarify. What are these thoughts? <laughs> that might help identify the situation better. Three, please. We have the sun. The sun is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That might be an identifier for you. We have the king of pentacles, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone that's stable, has some money put together, doing well, a financier, someone established, a tycoon, possibly, someone that wants to be happy, okay? They want happy thoughts. Maybe they're changing their, their mindset from a negative one to a positive one because they want abundance and happiness with this Ten of Pentacles here. They want to have what they have and be together in the tangible. And maybe it's something they're changing about how they view their, their fortune, their abundance as well. Because even happiness could be abundance. Maybe that's what's going to be changed is valuing happiness over stuff, right? That could be it as well. Let's see, what else should we clarify here for you? Clarify Pleiades. That seems to be a hint or it's something really big. And this could be an individual that's realizing their spirituality as well. So what's Pleiades? Page of Wands, Past News, Impetuous, Enthusiastic, with a Two of Swords to make a decision. One more. Page of Pentacles, this is like good news in the tangible, so there's going to be something good towards this. All right. It's a switch up from the tangible towards something that makes happiness and abundance happen, okay? I'm trying to see if I can see anything else. 
these people floating up and ascending, right? This may not be ready to be known yet. So something is building from the divine. That would explain the three months patience, guys. Okay. So you're just going to have to wait it out and see what happens. Don't take risks, though. Kind of methodically use your discernment and your intuition in this. All right. You know what to do. If you need to save money, you need to save money. I'm also seeing that in this as well. Because if there's going to be some jostling ahead of schedule, you're going to need to plan for something, right? could be a trip, but let's see. Let's get some guidance from the Yule Oracle Spirit. What else? What else does the collective need to know about this situation? March is a bit of ways away, too. All right. Light number 20. Hope is but a word, but a word casting the unseen. Let there be light where light is but a dream. So it's about manifesting your dreams. Huh. Maybe the light for that hasn't been shown away yet. All right, number 20. 20 breaks down to a two. Twos are about partnerships and choices. Okay, with that two of swords over there as well. So there may be options. All right. Keywords are hope and return of the light. If there is one theme you should know about Yule, it's light. The entire celebration of Yule is an honoring of faith in warmer days to come. Love it. There is always light after the darkness, and spring will always come after winter. No matter how difficult your situation, know that things will work out. And there's your expectation, patience, temperance energy, right? It's also trusting the divine. Light is a dynamic card, and when you have drawn it, you can expect an increase in your energy. You are feeling more confident these days, and you are likely to see an increase in your motivation and overall vitality. This is a happy card and a positive sign of success. Pulling the light card is like getting a big yes from the universe. You can expect a positive resolution when this card comes to a reading. Additionally, pulling light is a sign of abundance and increase in all areas of your life. Nice! You may see an increase in your finances, such as a raise, or an unexpected financial windfall. In love, this card is a positive sign of new love or marriage. Twos did come up with partnerships, so this could be a lot of things. You might receive a promising job offer or clarity in a job change when it comes to career. Something positive is on its way when light shines on your reading. Beautiful. Let's get one from the New Orleans Oracle. Anything else, Spirit? So just stay positive for it. All right. Discernment. Heart space. <laughs> Patience. All beautiful. You're getting thrown towards something bigger and better, right? All around. One piece. Thank you. All right. You have card number 23. Breaks down to a five, five signifying transition and change, usually by the universe, okay? Success. You do have a lot of orange and yellow there, okay? So if some of your healing that you need at this time that you could stand to do has something to do with your solar plexus or your sacral, do it, okay? Success can often feel like a fleeting goal if we become too fixated on accomplishing a specific outcome in a specific way. True success is not measured by outer accomplishments, but by inner feelings that indicate personal growth and movement in the right direction. This card has shown up because although you may not have yet reached your goal in its entirety, there are many smaller milestones, signs, and opportunities you have experienced that are proof that you've been on the right track. By remembering to take a moment to appreciate and celebrate these large and small markers, the energy of gratitude and inspiration will eventually lead you to where you want to be. It may help you realize that you may already be there and are ready for something new. Love it. 
All right, let's get you an affirmation. And you're welcome to use this every day for the whole week if you like. See what pops out. May also clue in a little bit. There might be some key words in it that might clue in as to what else is coming. Out. What is this prosperity? <laughs> this abundance. All right. Please and thank you, Spirit. For Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, I'm in writing. Affirmation. Thank you. Beautiful. I love it. Anytime you need this, it's good all day long. <laughs> Happiness flows to me and from me because I easily see, hear, feel, know, and stand in my truth. There you go. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Bye.